Canada's family lost almost everything they owned in a tragic house fire when she was a teen. Now 23, she is currently in her final year of law school. Canada. Canada. Canada has always been an entrepreneur and currently co-owns an apparel company. She's proud of her voluntary work with Operation Smile and recently ran her first marathon. Canada. Canada. Combining a number of different national icons and symbols, Canada's costume features the iconic maple leaf from her country's flag. The large snowflake includes the shape of every Canadian province and territory, and the ensemble is popped off with a hat and mittens. If you like the cold, this costume never gets old. Canada! Steel in the competition is... Canada! Congratulations. Thank you very much. Well, uh, you recently ran your very first marathon. I don't, I don't believe in running that far. Um, what, do you think being an athlete or being athletic gives you uh, some edge on some of the other contestants? Well, running a marathon, a long 42.2 kilometers or 26 miles, takes determination, perseverance, patience and a lot of stamina and all those seem like attributes that a Miss Universe needs to have so thank you Canada your final 13 continue to grace the stage please welcome the next two women vying to move forward here is Canada in 1952 the first joining her in the top nine Canada! Welcome to Canada. I'm a law student at the University of Saskatchewan. I wanted to study law because I wanted to be an advocate for others. In 2009, my family and I lost our home to a house fire. We lost our possessions and we put a lot of focus on the things we have rather than those we have in our lives. I started volunteering with the Red Cross and thought, how could I make a difference on a greater scale? I entered Miss Teen Saskatchewan two weeks after losing our home. I went on to win Miss Teen Canada World. I traveled to Kenya, Africa to build a school for the children. And I learned then that pageants can be a platform to achieve your greatest dreams. Canada. Canada. Canada co-founded an apparel company that provides clean water in those in need. Four women, but only one spot left. Still in the competition is Haiti.